So the Second Amendment guys over there, you never know what they're going to do. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. It was a joke. Like, I mean, it, it, it wasn't... It was a good punchline. I tell you what it was. An excellent punchline. They say timing is everything in comedy. And I'm serious. Excellent delivery. 10 on 10. And then there's this article here at Vox talking about, you know, how language matters. And completely misunderstanding. Okay, it's nonsense, and it's nonsense that's not worth deconstructing. Except to point out that it was clearly a jab of gun nuts. That is, it was the gun owners that were the butt of the joke. It's all these dipshit social justice types that are once again missing the point, but they're not doing it by accident, right? They will jump, jump at every opportunity, okay? To miskin through things, to push their authoritarian social structures, to censor what you're thinking, to try to push their morals down your throats. Any opportunity they can get. I mentioned it was excellent delivery, and it really was. No, seriously. It was the kind of line you would expect to hear in a Conan monologue, or a Daily Show takedown, or in a Seinfeld episode. Really, it was. And the takeaway is that it's increasingly clear that Trump actually doesn't feel comfortable representing his base. He doesn't want to go out there and work up gun nuts and religious crazies. You know? They send him out there on a stage and you know, talk about guns and he, he, he couldn't help himself. So again, excellent delivery. Great wit. Perfect timing. 10 on 10. But to be crystal clear, and absolutely terse, Trump was stating, tongue-in-cheek, that he actually supports gun control. Da -da -da -da. Yes. That's right, you Republicans. Your nominee is a historical supporter of gun control. And he thinks that you're insane. All you Second Amendment people, you're all a bunch of fucking insane idiots. I mean, what do you what do you really think that Donald Trump thinks of these people? Do you think he believes in their worldview? Do you think he has their politics? Do you think he wants to ban abortion and make it easier for people to get assault weapons? Do you think he's on the side of these people? That he'll stand up for them that that's what he wants? No. He's just a rich guy that wants to cut taxes. And he thinks all these gun nuts and Christians and all these other idiots are a bunch of pathetic inbred losers that fell for a lot of barely strung together nonsense. And he's right. They are a bunch of pathetic inbred losers that fell for a lot of barely strung together nonsense. He was obviously making it up as he went. Didn't believe anything he said. If you actually checked his record, which is in the public sphere and not hard to find using it, you know, the internet, Trump, ha he has always supported gun control in the past. Like every sane Northeastern liberal on the planet, he wants bans on assault rifles. And what he's signaling is that he doesn't like this. He hates going up there on a stage and telling you a bunch of shit about guns and God. And It was, like, like I say, comedy, <laughs> it's timing, it's delivery, and he actually, he pulled that off great, right? Had, had nobody picked it up, it would have, you know, just... And it would have gone over everybody's head had nobody had, had the media not picked it up, right? And that's probably what he was saying. I actually hope we get more of this as it becomes increasingly clear that he's going to lose. Huge. While he doesn't have a chance of winning the presidency, he can go out with a bang. 
and give us some performance art that will last for centuries. Now, it turns out I'm not the first person that's kind of pointed this out. <coughs> um, I'm not sure that I would have taken it um, to that level, you know. But, I mean, I, I haven't spent a lot of time watching a lot of Trump speeches, right? Like, I've seen a few interviews, you know. Like, you, like am I going to sit down and watch a two-hour-long Republican debate? No, I'm a, I'm an anarchist from Canada. So, but the last thing I want to do is watch a fucking Republican debate. You think I want to listen to Donald Trump give a speech? I don't, no. So I, I really haven't heard a lot, right? I'm picking most of it up from media. Um, from little bits and pieces, you know, like, you know, and you can put together context. I mean, he's not... He's not a politician, so you can read him like a book, right? And, um, you know, so, I mean, like, this, but 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 it, but it does turn out that, that, that people have been pointing out this out. <coughs> Somebody that pointed this out very early, apparently, is Michael Moore. Michael Moore nailed him as a performance artist, like, you know, it was months ago. They said, uh, what did he say? He said, like, he lost him with, I think it was, the, was, was with the wall. That's where, uh. So where it wasn't funny anymore. So yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not paying a lot of attention to what, what Donald Trump is saying, <laughs> to be honest with you. And when I am, it's more like I'm reading something, right? Because I don't want to listen to him talk. At all. How many speeches have I heard? I haven't heard a single speech. How many debates did I didn't watch a single debate? Okay. <laughs> I watched some of the Democratic debates, but I'm not going to watch a Republican debate. This was the first thing that I saw that made it, like, you know? Like, w w what I saw often suggested that he was, you know, like, obviously not honest, Right? But the idea that he's actually taking the piss, that he's actually just fucking with people, that hadn't really crossed my mind previously. But the the delivery, just the tone of voice, the way he got that out, like, it was, like, completely obvious to me that that actually really was a joke. It was a joke delivered in the style of a monologue. And it was an attack on his own voters. It in no way suggested anybody should actually carry through anything so much as it suggested that these people that I've got out here that are voting for me are insane. <coughs> and that's kind of maybe my, uh, that's, that's my, that's my Andy, uh, Andy Kaufman moment with Donald Trump, um, was right here, um, where it became clear that this is not serious. Or if it was serious at some point, um, you know, or, or if he wants it to be serious, that he can't help himself, okay? And, like I say, I'd like to... He's not, he's not going to be president, but he, he, he might be, you know, uh, he, he, he might be the Hamlet of our times. And uh, that's, uh, I, I think it would be great, greatly entertaining to see it unfold that way. Maybe I should... Was Hamlet really insane or just pretending to be insane? Disgust. 